Good afternoon and welcome to Art Through a Lens. Um, thank you everybody for subscribing um, and supporting me. And while in lockdown, I'm going to try and keep you all happy and creating. And, uh, you know, just it's all about experimenting with textures and colours and things like that. Now, this photograph I took, um, oh God, was it last year or the year before? We uh, stayed at Glencoe, so I think it was last year. Last, oh, My memory's rubbish now. Uh, but... Yes, that's the, the gorgeous abandoned um, ship, boat. Um, it's about four mile away, actually, uh, from um, Ben Nevis. And uh, that's Ben Nevis in the background there, where my son actually uh, proposed to his girlfriend. And they've now been married a, a year now. So they've got this on their wall, but in landscape. Um, just so it's, it's a memory. And obviously, I love photographs. I love this photograph itself. We was there sat here with a, a beer in hand watching the sunset, uh, me and my partner. And we just absolutely loved it. We took hundreds of shots. So because you take so many shots of a, the same scene just so you can choose the best one. Um, it's, it's good to play about with some of them as well, you know, because you're saving it as something totally different. So it doesn't actually get rid of your original photographs. Um, so yes, it, it's beautiful to see. So this is my first um, attempt of trying to even apply a texture over it so bear with me and this is what i'm going to have a play about with so um any old photograph that you've got in your files or anything like that just give it a, a whirl because if you if you apply textures over it just remember you're going to file save as and you save it as a totally new name and it's not gonna delete your original um or write over your original photograph there so it's just about playing about really so i'm gonna take that over there I haven't got an idea in mind usual you know that's usually me I don't have an idea at all until something takes my eye and then I just go with the flow so you just go down your textures seeing if there's anything there that you like see I, I love the blues in that but it, it's hiding my boat um, it does look really nice doesn't it i love right let's let's go on that let's see what we can do here so i apply a layer mask there choose my brush tool black because obviously that is white and i only want to have a low opacity and a low flow just so i can try and get the boat back i know you could easily cut it out as well I don't want it too harsh compared with, so I'll just lower that a little bit more. We'll see where it is first. So if I go over, it doesn't matter. So I'm wanting to blend it in. Okay, so you can see I'm going over it, but it's not drastically taking the texture in the background off. But it's allowing me to see where my boat is plus I can show them houses still a little bit more just go over those but as you can see look it's, it's not drastically taking it off and it's allowing me to like just like paint it in as such okay so yes I don't want it on here as well so I'll just increase that a little bit more so I can And it's all about painting, taking it away, really. So that shadow, we still need that shadow there. And I want Ben Nevis to show still. But we obviously want the rest to blend in as well. So just slightly sweep over that. Just slightly sweeping. Just a sweeping movement like you would with a brush, a paintbrush. Make sure... It's all off your boat, but it all blends in just slightly. Make a bigger brush. Quick sweep, 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 sweep. So that's brilliant. So that's without the texture and that's with the texture. 
and it's absolutely lovely because I love the blue against the reds okay so now we'll go to another texture and again I don't know what color I'm gonna be looking for just go down all your textures and have a good look and anything just try absolutely anything as I always say I bet you get sick of me saying it but people are sometimes afraid to put it on but there's, there's no point being afraid if it doesn't work you just drag it down to the bin or untick your eye symbol it's entirely up to yourself so now I'm thinking hmm I don't know what I'm thinking. Something needs to um, come to me now. And I don't know what, I don't know which one. Let's try this one. We'll drag that and click the tick to place and then go on your blend modes and just go down and again we're looking for anything that takes your eye that you like and again, it doesn't have to be the whole picture. It can just be the, um, the boat itself, the water itself. I'm just looking for something. Now, I did like multiply, but that looks a bit dark, but you can always change the fill and then take it off and on, see what that's giving you. Change the opacity. I think I prefer that without, so drag that into the bottom bin. That's what I do. Don't like it, didn't work you drag it and take it out so i know let's go with something let's go with this texture here so we're going with a rough texture might not work so it is very detailed it's a bit heavy this texture and then you go through your blend modes and see if it actually works anywhere that you like See, I like some effects of that, but not everywhere. See, I like that as well. So we'll keep on uh, just going through blend modes. It is a very heavy texture. I did like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to choose that. Might not work, but we then add a new layer mask. We're just going to take some off the boat. So again, you, you're on your brush tool with your black chosen and you want that boat to stand out. And you take a little bit off from here as well. Okay, and a bigger brush. Okay, so that's what you're looking for, just to give you some texture in your image. I like that blue. So just take it a little bit down. And then we apply another texture. And I think I'm needing some blues in there now. So let's try this one. So when you drag it over as well, because I don't want it that way. I can always right click 
on there and rotate okay so I am gonna do counterclockwise and see what this does so transforms why it's on there and then click you can actually lift it up to where you actually want the darkness to be it's entirely up to you you're in control and then again go to your blend modes and see what that gives you sometimes I like to frame my images with um, textures oh look at that that's magnificent isn't it don't like the sky as much though let's just go on that and let's take it off I think I'd add the, the sky oh let's have a look I love how the mountains have gone darker there because it really makes the boat stand out but I don't actually I'm not sure about the sky so I'm just going to tone that down a bit by the layer mask just take that colour out a little bit also go over the boat a little bit just to make sure it still stands out for the colour I want and I'm not sure about this bit either, either there so I want that gold to still stand through so you just take it away where you don't want it Let's take that away a little bit more. So I do like that gold reflection in the water. And again, take that a little bit more away from the sky. It's your piece of art. You do what you want to do with that. Okay, so now again, we apply another texture. And I'm thinking. Something like this. Just see what this gives us. You can apply as many textures as you like. And even at the end, if you've got 20 or 30 textures there, you can actually go through and tick in each symbol, eye symbol there, and just see if you get a totally different picture altogether. Sometimes that's worked for me. So again, we're back on a texture, going through the blend modes. You can make really nice abstract um, images I like what it's doing on the water but I don't like it everywhere else so I'm going to remove it everywhere else so to do that I'll just increase that a little bit the flow and the opacity just so it's quicker because I liked it before everywhere else but I do like the water side of things in the foreground. Just take it a little bit off there. You take it off, remove it wherever you don't want it. You keep it where you like it. If you do enjoy painting, you'll love doing things like this. Okay, so I love that effect there. And I've still got that gold showing in the reflection. Okay, so that's what that gave. All right. So as I mean, like with um, lots of textures, if you untick one that you did earlier, you might actually see a better image type of thing. Like that. I'm actually liking that now without that. See what I mean? So you can always go back, untick a symbol. And I think I'm actually going to leave that off now, you see. So that was nice before I put the other two on after that. 
but because you can just experiment and untick an eye symbol that gives it more of a painterly effect so i won't be ticking that eye symbol again i'm going to keep that texture off okay so click on the top texture again and if you want to apply another texture you go back to your textures folder and now i'm wanting some light i think just a bit of light so let's go with let's go with this one so drag that over and again i want that glow coming up from the top so i want to uh, rotate this clockwise so that will take that light up to the top left if you want it again to be different to that and be on the left you just flip it horizontal and then you just click the tick let's see what this gives us so you just scroll down your blend modes again just having that vision and that eye for detail and eye for color if you want a really colorful painting see how I, I do like that let's have a look at on and off see how it's give, giving that a little bit more light and shadow and contrast so yes I like that one I do like that yes I'm gonna keep that definitely gonna keep that now, what I think I also might do is let's add a gradient we add a gradient here so you click on the i call it a yin and yang symbol really uh, it's the black and white circle and on there it gives you lots of different options so i've chosen the gradient you can cl click on gradient you can choose the colors that you want and i'm thinking more oranges so you click on the oranges on the drop down you can see all the different variations of the gradient colors there you can try anything you like okay i'm going to go for something bright like that and then again you've got to go through your blend mode it's like having the texture on and it's just going to bring some light into the scene sometimes these can be too much but don't forget you've got your opacity that you can change or your fill as well but sometimes these are a bit too much sometimes So let's just go on soft light for instance and reduce that like and then click on and off the symbol i don't like that it's taking the blue away so i'm going to drag that because i don't like that so what i'm thinking of next is choosing a color so i've, I've made a new layer so it's a checkerboard and then I'm going to go on colour and I'm going to choose the colour I'm wanting a bit of sunlight from or in fact you can do the dropper tool there and choose the same type of colour that's already in there okay so then it's just a brush tool so go back to your brush tool we only want it faint so 35 opacity 30 flow nice big sweep of a big soft brush so we'll soften that brush down so our hardness is at zero percent just give it a quick swoosh and a swoosh and then blend mode that as well it just gives you a bit more depth of color There's loads that you like as well while you're scrolling down and you never know which to choose. So whatever goes with your... That's hardly changed it really, has it? So go on. Multiply. That's added more warmth in, hasn't it? Just slightly. But sometimes that's all you need to merge your scene. 
so I'm quite happy with that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add birds because I always have birds in my scene so scroll down to my birds you can also make your own birds as well um, which I've done in the past so I need to do black because we don't have yellow birds do we so put your increase your opacity increase your flow your color black you've got to think of the scale of your birds and what size they'd be so if they're more in the foreground obviously they're going to be bigger if they're in the distance they're going to be smaller and fainter so you'd have to reduce the opacity even more the further back they were the nearer they are to you you'd have them darker I just always like to give a little bit of interest somewhere in the sky instead of it just being blank so we'll just see how that looks so tiny you see they could be anywhere in between the boat and the actual Ben Nevis mountain but just flying high there in the sky and you can add even a few more just remember to reduce your brush size at all times and you can actually decrease that because they are a little bit of a distance away so 74% looks about right and that's it that's it completed so what's that one two three four four textures and I deleted one because as I mentioned earlier you can just unclick your eye symbol and it gives you a totally different look um, it worked at the time but then after placing other textures over those textures you just look back and it's it, it just looked a lot better without that one there so uh, that got removed so you can't go wrong you just click away and you you keep trying and I hope you've enjoyed this because it's absolutely beautiful it looks like a proper little oil painting doesn't it so um, as always I usually merge the visible drag that one because that remember that's the texture that I deleted so it was still showing on there so that's my final image there okay so usually I do like to use the levels so control and L will bring up the levels and this usually just makes it pop a little bit more so you can increase the midtones you can decrease the dark to make it darker like that or you can increase the, the darks with that slider you can decrease the whites with that slider and increasing the whites with that so that one will do the mid-tones okay so that's it I'm finished okay what I usually do is add my border so I go to canvas size four inch border press the middle to center that and okay reduce that so you can see and that's my finished piece of art so join me again next week um, even if I have to go through all my old photographs to be able to do an image for you like I have done today uh, obviously because of um, the restrictions we have in place at the moment so stay safe everybody don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, share it with your friends uh, keeps them busy on rainy dull days and in lockdown and uh, subscribe and press the bell so any new videos that I upload uh, you'll get to any notifications letting you know that it's there to watch okay so stay safe have a fab day everybody and I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye now